Hi everyone! I'm so glad you joined us today for this video. Today we're going to read the next four pages of Jesus' Calling and this book has really spoken into my life, my life and I hope it's speaking into all of your lives. So today we're going to begin with prayer and then we're going into announcements of what's coming up in P7 Club. I hope all of you are having a great spring break. Now let's continue on. Um, if you have any prayer requests, please make sure to text them to me or put them down in the comment section down below. Now let's begin with prayer requests. So, uh, my friend who wants to get back into church, and my friend who has seizures, my friend who wants their P7 club, and also this person who texted me and asked, and asked if they can get prayer for healing and strength still. Taylor go for a miracle for her and her family, and something that's been really been laying on my heart lately for me to pray for and for everyone else and on this P7 Club to pray for it is schools because schools really need God to get into there and earlier today I saw this post by P7 Clubs it says your school needs Jesus and that's true a bunch, there's a lot of schools out there that need Jesus and at the bottom of the post they put in, your school needs Jesus. We believe that whenever there is an apostolic presence, there should be an apostolic witness. So basically what that means is wherever there's an apostolic in any of the, any school, the apostolic person should stand up and feel a need to share the good news with their friends. And you can do that through starting a P7 club. And a P7 club isn't just doing it in your... um in your school like with a bunch of people but it can just be a one-on-one -on -one thing say if you have a P7 club but only one person ever shows up it can just be a one-on-one -on -one thing and then that person slowly invites more and more people and then you get more and more people there but just something that's been laying on my heart lately is to pray for schools all over the world and also teachers because even though a lot of teachers don't believe in God or don't know anything about God, they still need us to pray for them. Also, students that go to school, because a lot of students that go to school struggle, even if they do know Jesus or don't know Jesus. And also another thing that's been laid on my heart is families. And it make sure if you have any prayer please put them down in the comment section down below. And now let's get into prayer. Oh, Jesus, right now, I pray that this video speaks into others' lives that are watching right now. I pray that people touch through this video, that whoever needs the Holy Ghost that's watching this video right now, receive it. And right now, I pray for my friend who wants to get back into church, that you speak to her and let her get back into church. And then I pray right now for my friend who has seizures for those seizures to go away. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Right now, I pray for this person who wants healing and strength. I pray that you speak it into her life. You pit the healing and strength into her life. I speak your name to her life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And right now, I pray for schools all over the world that others will feel the call to go start a P7 club so their schools can be reached. Oh, right now, oh, should the 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 drive for the Holy Ghost right now, Jesus. And right now, I pray for teachers that you help others speak to their teachers, even if they're afraid. Help them have the courage to speak to their teachers about you in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And right now, I pray for families that you speak into families' lives, that you have, that you stop the devil from trying to attack families right now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and I pray right now for students at, at my school, FH Collins, and at other schools right now that you speak into their lives right now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and everyone say amen. Now we are going to get into the next four pages of Jesus' is Calling. And also, if you haven't watched the video about... um. A good name, that lesson, if you haven't watched it yet, be sure to watch that because that is a really good lesson and I really had an amazing time in it, so doing it, so make sure to watch that video and if you haven't shared it with friends yet, please sure to, be sure to do that. Now we're going on to the next pages and 
please share all the videos I post on here so other people can get to know more about Jesus. And I'm going to read these pages. Trust me by recognition control into my hands. Let go and recognize that I am God. This is my world. I made it and I control it. <clears throat> Yours is a responsibility part in the liberty of love. I search among my children for time to me. Guide well this gift that I have planted in your heart. Nurture it with light of my presence. When you begin, bring me prayer requests. Lay out your concerns before me. Speak to me concerning. Pour out your heart. Then thank me for the answers that I have set into motion long before you can say they were in motion. When your requests come to mind again, continue to thank me for the answers that are on the way. If you keep on staring your concerns to me, you will live in a state of... When you thank me for how much I am answering your prayers, your mindset becomes much more positive. Thankful prayers keep your focus on my presence and my promises. And that's from Psalms 46.10 and Colossians 4.2 and 2 Peter 1.3-4. through 4. Now let's get on to the next page. <clears throat> Let me prepare you for the day that stretches out before you. I know exactly what this day will continue. Because you have only vague ideas about it. You would like to see a map showing all the twists and turns of your journey. You feel more prepared if you could somehow vision what is on the road ahead. However, there is a better way to prepare, to be prepared whatever you will today spend quality time with me i will not show what is on the road ahead but i will through empty you for your journey my living presence is continued each step of the way stay in a continued concentration with me whispering my name whenever you need it in your thoughts thus you can walk through this day with your focus on me my ability presence is the best road map available and that's from exodus 32 33 14 and john 15 4 through 7 now let's get on to the next two pages try to view each day as an adventure carefully plan out by your guide instead of staring into the day that is ahead of you attending to program it according to your will be active to me and to all I have prepared for you. Thank me for this day of life, recognizing that it is an unreliable gift. Trust that I am with you each moment, whether you sit in my presence or not. I am a thankful, trusting authority helps you to see events in your life for my preservation. A life lived close to me will never be dull or prepared destructive, except each day continues surprises. Rest your turn to search for the easiest route to the day. Be willing to follow whether I lead. No matter how sheep or treacherous the path before you, the safest place to be is by my side. And that's from Psalms 118.24. And that's from the New King James Version, Isaiah 41.10 and 1 Peter 2.21. Now we're going on to our last page for today, so let's go on to that. Let me bless you with grace and peace. Open your heart and mind to receive all that I have for you. Do not be ashamed of the emptiness. Instead, view it as an opportunity to contain for being filled with my peace. It is easy to touch up your own outward appearance to look as if you had it all together. Your attempts to look good can fool most people. But I see straight through you into the depths of your being. There, oh, sorry, that's my spot. I'll just start back here. Um, it is easy to touch up the outward appearance to look as if you had it all together. Your attempts to look good can fool most people, but I see straight through you into the depths of your being. There is no place, perhaps, in your relationship with me. Rejoice in the relief of being full, understood. Talk to me with, talk to me 
about your struggles and feelings in quantity. Little by little, I will transform your weakness into strength. Remember that your relationship with me is strong in grace. Therefore, nothing that you do or don't do and you from my presence. And that's from First Solomon 16, 7 and Romans 8, 38 through 39. And now before we end today's video, I'd like to do a couple announcements. And I know we usually don't do this too soon, but I'd like to do a song for today for us to just worship the Lord because this was a really great video today. So let me just find announcements real quickly. Just give me a minute. Aha, here's the first one. So on March 28th, our next in-person P7 club meeting, Sister Flora will be teaching on prayer. So please try and make it there if you can. If you can't, please be sure to check out the video online we will be trying to post. And then we will have another special speaker on April 18th. At, and these are both at 11 40 a.m. at F.H. Collins, and again, that's on April 18th with uh, Brother Vernon Asp, and that is Sister Flora's husband, so I'm super excited for that. I can't wait to see all of you there, and if you could, please try and bring a friend with you because we want to try and get as many new people to hear about, the, about God as possible, and now just give me a minute to find the song I'd like to end with and then we will end today's video. Give me a minute. We are going to end with this song called Jesus Our Victory because Jesus is our victory and he brings victory. And against me. Stand alone but not alone What is most to go before me The life is not my own Praise like we've already Praise Him, He has over.
victory battle. Even when it doesn't seem like it My praise will be my weapon My praise will be my weapon Amen, amen Thank you everyone so much for joining us today I hope to see you guys next time And <coughs> oh, Sorry I can't wait to see everyone in person on March 28th I'm super excited about that See you guys next time, bye